Welcome to the Professor English Podcast, where we don't just talk about English, we practice English. My name is Ryan, and I am your host. Today, we are going to practice English by using the expression cherry picking. Cherry picking is a form of dishonesty. When you select only the delicious things, the cherries, and you ignore the things that are not delicious, everything else. This is a listening and speaking exercise. So if you want to improve your English listening, your English speaking, and your accuracy while also improving your vocabulary, in other words, the whole enchilada, you have found the right video. There are no long explanations, just English practice. Practice listening and practice speaking. So if you are not clear about the meaning of cherry picking, don't worry. By the end of the video, it will be very clear. So be sure and watch until the end. Before we begin, I just want to remind you that if you prefer some visual help with this exercise, you can always see the video version on my YouTube channel, Professor English ESL Class. Now, let's dive in and start practicing English. Here is a situation. No one trusts the information that Lucy provides. Let's make a why not question. Why not anybody trust? Why not anybody trust Lucy? Why doesn't anybody? Why doesn't anybody trust? Why doesn't anybody trust the information that Lucy provides? Why doesn't anybody trust the, the information that Lucy provides? Why doesn't anyone trust the information that she provides? Here is the reason. She only provides information that supports her ideas, and she ignores information that are the opposite of her ideas. This is cherry picking. She cherry picks her ideas. She only picks the things that are delicious for her, and she ignores the things that are not delicious. She cherry picks her information. She cherry picks her information. No one trusts her. No one trusts her. No one trusts her because she cherry picks information. No one trusts her because she cherry picks information. Here is another situation. No one believes the comments provided by the public relations department. No one believes the comments provided by the public relations department. Let's make a why not anybody believe question. Why not anybody believe the public relations department? Why doesn't? Why doesn't anybody believe? Why doesn't anybody believe the comments? Why doesn't anybody believe the comments provided by the public relations department? Why doesn't anybody believe the comments provided by the public relations department. Here is the reason. Because they only so select comments that make the company look good. They don't include any negative comments, any bad comments. They only select good, nice comments. Comments that are delicious to them. They ignore the comments that are not delicious. They cherry pick. They cherry pick comments. They cherry pick comments. They only select delicious comments. No one believes them because they cherry pick comments. No one believes them. No one believes them because they cherry pick. Because they cherry pick comments. No one believes them because they cherry pick comments. All right, you're doing a super duper job. Let's try another example. But before we do, I just want to remind you that if these exercises are helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, Professor English ESL Class, so that you won't miss the next lesson. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, 
please take a moment to press the like button. It helps my channel so much and lets me know that you want to see more fluency and listening comprehension exercises just like this one. Now, let's keep practicing English. Here is another situation. Everyone doubts the results of the experiment. Everyone doubts the results of the experiment. Let's make a why question. Why does? Why does everyone? Why does everyone doubt? Why does everyone doubt the results? Why does everyone doubt the results of the experiment? Why does everyone doubt the results of the experiment? Here is the reason. They only presented information that supported the conclusion that they wanted. And they ignored information that would make people question the preferred conclusion. This is cherry picking. They only, they only produced data that was delicious for them. They were cherry picking data. They didn't pick data. They didn't show people data that wasn't delicious. <laughs> they cherry picked data. They cherry picked data. Everyone doubts the results of the experiment because they cherry picked data. They cherry picked data. Everyone doubts the results of the experiment because they cherry picked data. All right, you're doing a fantastic job. Let's try one more. The conclusions reached by the committee were in doubt. The conclusions reached by the committee were in doubt. Let's make a why in doubt question. Why were? Why were the conclusions? Why were the conclusions in doubt? Here is the reason. The committee only used statistics that supported what they wanted and they ignored statistics that contradicted them. This is cherry picking. They only wanted to show people delicious statistics and they ignored statistics that were not delicious. They cherry picked. They cherry picked the statistics. The conclusions were in doubt because they cherry picked the statistics. The conclusions were in doubt because they cherry picked the statistics. All right, you did an amazing job today and you learned some fantastic English. Congratulations, I knew you could do it. Remember, practice makes perfect, so you should repeat this exercise several times, not just so that you can remember the expression cherry picking, but also to improve your listening and your speaking skills. It's been really fun practicing English with you today, and I hope to see you again real soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to press the like button. See you in the next video with more interesting words and phrases.